everyone welcome you all to the series of interview experience of students of iit kanpur on the fifth episode we have tamma likita with us she is currently doing ms in mblsi at iit kanpur she took admission in winter batch 2019 hi likita hi how are you i'm fine how are you i'm good too so what's going on um just preparing for final exams yeah so likita mm -hmm. we will inter we'll discuss about your interview experience today so can you just please introduce yourself first okay um my name is tamma likita and i completed my btech from nit bhopal and i am currently pursuing ms research in vlsa from iit kanpur and this is my second semester let's start with the interview day can you just describe what was the environment around okay so uh, actually i am from south india so the weather condition in iit kanpur it is very cool in winter so and i just uh, went there before my interview and i stayed there for the night before the interview and then uh, like on the day of interview they just uh, took uh, document verification and then they called us for the interview actually there were around 200 people and very only few girls were there so i was just feels that i'm like um i am the uh, like there are uh, two girls who were only shortlisted for uh, for vls interviews uh out, like there were 30 students shortlisted for uh, interview in vls and in that only two two were girls uh, but that uh, the other girl i think uh, she didn't come so i was the only one so i was tense that time and i just went for interview and it was great experience nice now let's discuss something about the questions that you were asked in the interview okay see there were two panels for interviewing and like there were four professors sitting and first at first they asked me about my introduction and then they asked me what subjects uh, i am interested in then i told i am interested in electronic devices and analog circuits then they asked me which part which part you are interested in circuits fabrication technology in which part you are interested in. then i told i am interested in circuits so then they started from the circuits they have uh, given me uh, a uh, simple circuit which consists of a voltage and voltage device and a capacitor and uh, some inductor and they asked me what is the output for a given input and and then they uh, asked a cmos circuit uh, to uh, like i have to draw the cmos circuit and then i have to explain uh, its operation how it works and its output characteristics and uh, they asked me its applications and they asked me like why uh, cmos is only used as inverters why not uh, only pmos or why not only nmos are not used as inverters and then they started from diodes like uh, they gave me uh, some clipping circuit which can be of a diode and some capacitors and they asked me to draw output for a sinusoidal input and then um, they asked me about mosfet uh, and like what is the threshold voltage and what is pinch off voltage 
and uh, like how it works uh, if vgs is greater than vth and vgs less than vth and how is it uh, changing its operation uh, the threshold voltage how is it changing they asked and then um, uh, they asked uh, like they have given me op amp circuit and they asked me what is the gain of this circuit and then uh, they have changed the gain, open loop gain of op amp and they asked me what is the output uh, like which which is different from the answer that i gave before when the like when they gave a first uh, op amp circuit it is different from the first one because the if the gain changes then uh, the output uh, changes yeah they asked me that and then uh, they asked me uh, like why bjt is not i mean like what is the difference between uh, bjt and mosfet and uh, what are the drawbacks of bjt yeah that's it So other students were also asked about uh, pin diodes and uh, differentiator, integrators, and uh, Smith trigger, and uh, hysteresis loop, and uh, current meters. Okay. So this was all about before getting into IIT. Now let's discuss something what after getting into IIT. Let's start from academics at IIT Kanpur. Okay. So before this, I have to say, uh, I already told I am from NIT Bhopal. Uh, there, I used to sit uh, the night before exam and uh, we used to study the whole night and we used to give the exam. But here, I must say, this won't work. That one day batting won't work here. Here, you will be given assignments and quizzes every week. And you will be kept busy. And you will, have, you will have to study on your own. And get the knowledge and do the assignments. No one is going to help you. Yeah. And, yeah, coming to courses and like subjects um, I, I took four courses in the first semester and then I started doing thesis work, thesis work from my second semester but students do thesis work from first semester itself and oh. we have to do a uh, minimum four courses uh, in MS research so I took the four courses in first semester itself so that I uh, like I I will have a, I don't, I will don't have a uh, pressure uh, while doing thesis work. So I did it in first semester. I took four courses. Okay. Yeah. Now let's discuss about the research opportunities at IIT Kanpur for MVLSI. Okay. Like there are different areas of research uh, going on in IIT Kanpur. Um, uh, we have uh, organic solar cells research going on and photovoltaic systems and uh, device modeling and uh, organic electronics, thin film transistors, 3D printed electronics. Uh, currently I'm working in organic electronics. Uh, this was all the technical stuff. Now let's discuss something about non-technical stuff. That is how's campus life at IIT Kanpur. Campus is beautiful, and I mean, like you can find peacocks everywhere, which is very uh, beautiful to see. And uh, yeah, like everything is available inside inside the campus itself. No need to go outside the campus. It is self-sufficient, and Actually, I stayed only for two months, January and February. I came here home for holy holidays and I celebrated Diwali also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the sad part of, of with all of us. <laughs> yeah, we 
got stuck here. I'm actually uh, seeing like when we we'll go back to campus. Yes, we all are waiting for that. Yeah. I'm sure now students would like to know what are the future opportunities that one will get after doing masters in MBLSI at IIT Kanpur? See, uh, one can do research and one can go for job opportunities. Uh, there are wide areas uh, in which uh, research is going on, like uh, organic electronics, uh, thin film transistors, and new trending um, topic is uh, flexible electronics, which is very go growing very fast. And other uh, like organic solar cells is also very interesting topic. You can do research. Um, Coming to job opportunities, uh, like there are uh, so many companies uh, which come and recruit students. So no need to worry. Uh, and like good companies like Qualcomm, Samsung, Intel, they come and recruit students uh, for their hardware profile. Okay. So Likhita, what will be your tips for all those students who are applying to the MBLSI department of IIT Kanpur? Okay. Um, from my past interview experiences from other IITs, I want to tell everyone that they should be thorough with the basics. Um, in case of VLSI, then they should be thorough with these subjects, electronic devices and analog electronics. These two subjects are very important for, for these uh, students who are willing to take VLSA. Um, if I have to say important topics in these subjects, then uh, they should be thorough with the transistor family, like VJTs, FETs and MOSFETs, CMOS. They should be thorough with this uh, basics of this transistor family. And uh, they should also cover OPAM, like the gain of the OPAM circuit. And uh, if time permits, then prepare for digital electronics also. Okay. Stay calm and uh, don't get panic. Uh, tell whatever you know to the professors. If at all, if you get stuck somewhere, then professors will are going to help you. Yes. Yeah, so that's all. I hope you all found this video useful. Thank you so much, Likita, for being with us and sharing such useful information with all of us. Thank you, Kushbu, and all the best to all those aspirants who are giving interview for VLSA in IIT Kanpu. Yeah, and if you have any further doubts related to VLSI, you can ask them in comment section. We'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.